Anzac cookies. So first, we're going to tell you our ingredients. So the first one is um, oatmeal, flour, white sugar. This is brown sugar, and this is the um, coconut coconut powder. This is butter, baking soda, maple syrup, and water. So first, we're going to put oatmeal, oatmeal in, the flour also in, together with the brown sugar. Next, we're going to put the white sugar. Then, the last, we're going to put the coconut powder. Okay, now we're going to mix like everything, like except like these. So then first, we're going to mix it. So, let's mix gonna put, it. In step two, we're going to put the butter in, the butter in a pot, hot pot. Then the water in. And then the syrup. The maple syrup also in okay so now we need to wait wait for all of it to melt so you have to keep on mixing it if you don't mix for like like 20 seconds it will be bad so then you gotta keep on mixing it like 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 what I'm so doing like now it melted you can see it melted so after it melted you can put the baking soda in so all in. and then you gotta mix it so almost like just very fast like 20 seconds and to mix it okay now we will close the fire which i did already and now we will put like the wet like the like this into like our dry one we did before so let me let me put like the last mix and then we're done okay so first i'll just put this here first then we're going to put the wet one here into the dry one and then you're going to mix again so wait okay done now i'm going to use this and start mixing okay so now we're going to make balls and put it here so we're going to oven it later so we're gonna get some a little bit more like like this maybe a little bit more that's too much okay no, i think that's enough okay so maybe okay so we're going to put it in a ball shape so we're going to squeeze it this is not a ball but if we like do this and put it into a ball shape it's gonna be like a ball so this is like a very very must must so we're going to Put the ball here, and when you're doing the next one, which I'm gonna do now, when you're doing the next one, um, don't put it very, very close to this one, cause it's it's going to melt and spread out when when it's in the oven. So here, yeah. like not not like this, no way. Maybe like this. That'll be good. Okay, so. Now, after we make it into balls, we're going to, like, okay, so it's pretty spread out. We're going to put them into, like, like this. Now, this is good. So, it's like a biscuit shape. It's not a ball shape. So, later it will spread out, so. That's perfect. That's good. So not too hard, that one's a bit too hard, but if you put it like too hard, then it's going to like break. So not too hard and put it like, like this. So like this, like it depends on how you want to have like the cookies. So if you want it like very, very wide, maybe you want to do it very wide, but I suggest you like this, I think is the best. So, balance it.
and that's perfect. So now we are going to put this into the oven. So the oven needs to take around 100, and exactly 160 degrees, 160 degrees, 10 to 15 minutes. So around 12 and a half minutes. So over. after we we already ovened it, ovened it. So then we need to like look, see, it's like pretty soft. So we need to wait for around like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And then it will have time for my favorite part, food tasting. So we already put it around like 10 to 15 minutes. So 20, 25 minutes around actually. So now we have, we have the food tasting. Now you can see it's, it hardened a lot. So I'm going to try. Oh, oh my God. You can, you can hear the crunch. Oh my God. 